Hey guys, Luton here, and we're back to look at some more hospital management games upcoming. I've been having a bit of a renaissance of management games recently, playing a lot of Prison Architect and really, really enjoying it actually. And this game, Two Point Hospital, was announced this week. Now, it's a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, but we already had another spiritual successor very recently with Project Hospital. So very much like what's happening with all the World War II games right now, it seems like hospital games are back on the map. But I gotta tell you, this game isn't blowing me away. A lot of people on Twitter seemed really hyped for this game, and yeah, look, it does have the kind of crazy sicknesses that we had back in Theme Hospital, with this guy having like a light bulb head, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of, Theme Hospital was its own thing back in the day, but I kind of feel like things have moved forward, and I don't know whether just replicating what has gone before is gonna be good enough, and especially when a lot of that was kind of pre rendered and then look, this is the actual gameplay. I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, especially when I looked at like Project Hospital. Now I thought it'd be worthwhile us actually going back and taking a look at what, you know, Theme Hospital actually was. So here we go, and you can see that this is where we are with the classic having your bloaty head syndrome, trying to analyse the patients, so it's all pretty standard fare. And I think for me, the biggest thing is that if you're going to make a spiritual successor to a game, you actually need to take it forward. You actually need to do more and say, hey, we are taking that concept and we are taking it forward into a new realm, you know, not just, hey, look, we've made something similar to the game that you liked a while back. Because if you're going to do that, a lot of old games, a lot of retro games are still completely functional and still completely work. And I'm pretty certain that Theme Hospital has often been free for Origin users. So, I mean, I really think, like, you know, this Two Point Hospital, uh, is this just going to be another nostalgia grab? Where, I mean, what are they doing that's different? Yeah, there's some slightly different diseases, like he's got, like, a light bulb for a head, and you're like, okay, that's great. But it doesn't actually add anything in terms of the gameplay, because essentially, light bulb head, bloaty head, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. The guy has a light bulb for a head, he's going to have a machine which has to remove that light bulb head, you know, and it's kind of like, I don't know, um, if you're going to play that, I might as well just play Theme Hospital. Do you know what I mean? Whereas Project Hospital is going like, okay, look, we never had like a proper hospital management. We want to take that concept and then actually do that. And there's a lot more information as well coming out about Project Hospital. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I really feel like Project Hospital is where my money is, where I want it to go. The Two Point Hospital just doesn't seem to be hitting the mark for me. Um, it just looks kind of cartoony kind of I'm just gonna be rude and say it just kind of looks cheaply done it just doesn't it just doesn't quite look right I don't know um, I, I just it just doesn't feel like it brings anything new to the table whereas Project Hospital seem like they've like I said before they've kind of taken what we had and gone in a different direction which is a good interesting thing whereas uh, Two Point Hospital doesn't seem to be really doing anything particularly new I'd be interested to see some more information from them see what's going on but also I just I just don't think I like the style but then you know some people didn't like the style for Project Hospital that's the thing about styles they're subjective right but look, let me tell you some more about Project Hospital because they have been talking here and there about the game and they have got more information about it. And that's the thing as well, you know, Two Point Hospital, uh, we want to know some more information about that. We want to find out what they're going to be doing, what they're planning. But I, I personally feel as well, like, I don't know, the kind of novelty of having like a guy with, oh, he's got a light bulb head. Like, it's just kind of gone away. I mean, I, you know, we've, people have grown up, we're older now, and the comedy of that is just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite so funny I don't, I don't know um, but Project Hospital they're going in a more realistic direction they've said that this is where they want to go uh, they want to have a more complex diagnosis system which they have already showcased uh, they want to have a campaign and sandbox mode of course just default um, their art style it's, it's pretty simple vector work but I think it's more in style with the theme of what they're trying to do because they're not trying to do theme hospital like two point hospital are two point hospital is basically trying to just make new theme hospital what project hospital is trying to do is they're trying to make a different new hospital game which is more realistic and the style kind of works for that i actually really like the style it's clean it's exactly kind of what you would think of when you look at a hospital right they've said that they're not going to have any kind of specific locations for the hospitals like in terms of real world locations which is totally understandable they're just going to have small medium large maps uh, currently their largest map is 96 meters square based off of their tiling system um, and they've said you know again it's all subject to change unlike theme hospital though which was on one level project hospital is looking at you being able to have four or five floors 
okay, four actual, you know, floors high. Uh, the biggest concern with that, when you look at how wide the sort of footprint is already, or not wide, but big the footprint is for the game, uh, the performance, because it's only an indie game level, so whether the performance is going to be there, or whether maybe levels will be paused, depending if you're actively working on them, I don't know. So that's something we want to find out more about, and just, I guess, see how that tests. They want to, of course, have many different departments, from your diagnosis to ambulances coming in to surgery, theatres, etc, etc, all that kind of stuff. The game's going to track a couple of different things for your patients, so patient discomfort and their general dissatisfaction or satisfaction. So seeing how they feel related to their illness, like if they're sitting there, they're feeling really unwell, you've left them too long, and their overall feeling about the aesthetics, you know, is it clean, their wait time, all these kind of things, that will affect kind of how they're feeling about your hospital and so on. The devs describe each patient as a puzzle to unlock, so that's pretty much like Sims 4 Go to Work DLC. Uh, we had to continue going through different diagnoses to discover what is wrong with your patient, so it's best to treat them. But again, that's very similar to Theme Hospital as well. But again, I, I think they have gone a little bit further in the detail in Project Hospital, which is a good thing. Now also, unlike Theme Hospital, and I'm going to guess and say unlike Two Point Hospital, you will have the ability, actually kind of like Sims, to actually go in and manually control what your doctors are doing. And the idea with this is that if you have a younger doctor, they're going to maybe require more player micromanagement, whereas an experienced doctor, you can probably just leave them to go on with things, they're going to make the right decisions. Whereas a junior doctor, it might need you sort of standing over them, guiding them along the way, like a consultant might in real life with a junior doctor. Now the biggest thing, the biggest thing, and I feel sure that Two Point Hospital are not going to do this, they haven't said this though, alright, to be clear, but I feel safe to say that they're not going to have this, because it just doesn't look like the kind of game that's going to have that, okay. Project Hospital have said they are definitely going to allow modding. And this is greatly important, because if you look at games like RimWorld and City Skylines, where their entire games have been kept moving forward for years through the power of modding, that is greatly important that they're on board and they want to do that. Whereas I say, Two Point Hospital, I'm just going to call it and say it doesn't look like the kind of game which is going to have modding. You know, prove me wrong, I'd be amazed to see if that happens. But because the reason being, it just kind of is too stylized. And stylized games don't often have mods because it requires a certain amount of, you know, art creation, etc. Whereas games like uh, Skylines and RimWorld, they do have a style, but the style is simple enough that any person can kind of take that and create that kind of uh, vector art. And the same with Project Hospital. That's one benefit of having a very simple vector art style. It's very easy to replicate and keep it looking, you know, sort of in theme. So we'll see where we go with this. But yep, that's where we are with the hospital games, guys. Tell me what you think about it down below. For me personally, I'm all on board Project Hospital. We'll see how it plays out.